Hi guys, hope you all are well and doing safe and welcome back to your kids YouTube channel. Want to go abroad but you're unsure whether your GRE score is good enough to let you go abroad? Well, do not worry. If this is the first time that you're signing in, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you never miss a video from us. The good news is that GRE scores are not taken as a whole by the universities. Instead, they look at each category cutoffs in the exam, namely quantitative reasoning known as quants, verbal reasoning known as verbals, and analytical writing. So, for those of you who have already taken the GRE test and you've got a GRE score under the bandwidth of 300 to 310, then this video is just for you. Also, for those of you who are in the pursuit of taking the GRE test and expecting a score around this range, then please stay tuned, your kid is here to deliver. But firstly, let us understand what is GRE. The Graduate Records Examination is a standardized benchmark test that is used as an admission criteria by most of the graduate schools across the United States, Canada, Australia and Europe. Also, about 700,000 to 1 million students take the GRE test every year and according to the reports of EPS, this number continues to grow annually. The GRE general test is offered as a computer-based exam administered at the testing centers and institutions. The verbal and quantitative sections are both out of 170 points and the analytical writing section is scored on an independent scale ranging from 0 to 6 with 0 being the lowest and 6 being the highest. But first, let's broadly categorize which departments look at which category more than the rest. For example, the Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences departments will give special emphasis to your test scores for verbal reasoning while the STEM subjects will do the same with your quantitative or quant reasoning section. And now to the universities. Arizona State University The ASU is the largest public university in the USA in terms of enrollment and one of the most popular universities that Indian study abroad aspirants generally aim for. In fact, about 766,064 students especially the Yorkiters, have received their admits to the ASU and more than 10,000 students are already interested in this university. The popular subject of computer science actually accepts a GRE verbal score of 149, GRE quant of 159 and an analytical writing score of 4.0. Also, for an MBA, a GRE of 310 is actually accepted at this university. For a Master's in Mechanical Engineering, a GRE verbal of 146 a quant of 159 and a writing of 3.5 plus is generally accepted at this university. San Diego University San Diego State University, popularly known as SDSU, is a public research university in San Diego, California. Also, it is one of the oldest higher education institutions in San Diego. It has even been recognized by the Carnegie Foundation as a doctoral university due to the high quality of research activities undertaken at the university. The popular degree of Master's of Science is accepted at this university with a GRE score of 300, 950 on an old scale, both quantitative and verbal combined. And for US applicants, a 306 with a verbal and quant combined score. And for international applicants, a 159 quant is accepted at this university. Rajas University Rajas University or Rajas is a public research university located in the small city of Newark in New Jersey. Founded in 1966, Rajas is one of the highest ranking universities in the States which means that their admission screening process is pretty spot. Rajas generally doesn't have a minimum requirement, but they do give a special emphasis on the quantitative score. Your kids study abroad aspirants have gotten into Rajas with a 150 on verbal and a 160 on quantitative. University of Alabama, Huntsville The UAH is a public national university located in Huntsville, AL, which has been named as one of the best places to live in the US by the US News and World Report. Its students hail from all 50 US states and more than 50 countries. A minimum total score of 300 on the GRE and a minimum score of 3.0 on the analytical writing portion. A minimum total score of 410 on the MAT for the nursing, English and public affairs programs and a minimum total score of 500 on the GMAT for the business applications is the sought-after score for this university. California State University, Long Beach 
California State University Long Beach is a public university founded in 1949. It is often chosen by study abroad aspirants for its inexpensive tuition while also having a strong base in research. A minimum cumulative score of 145 on the verbal test, a 145 on the quant, and a 3.5 on the analytical writing test timeline is generally what is accepted here. That's all folks. So if you've gotten admitted in your dream university, do let us know your GRE scores in the comment section below. And if you're still looking out for universities and don't know which one will be best suited for your profile requirements and qualification, then please check out our Yorkit's College Finder. It is a tool available on our website at yorkit.com where all you need to do is just input your details and preferences and we find you a list of colleges tailored just according to your profile. Also, if you've liked this video, please give us a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for notifications. And if you have any more questions, please reach out to us as our counsellors will get back to you with expert advice. Also, if this video has raised any in-depth questions about your profile and if you would like to have some extra assistance in your journey, don't worry, we've got your back. Stay tuned and stay safe.